It's throwback to GP 2016 time, where we analyze the questions for points and examples you can raise if these issues come out again. How far has modern technology made it unnecessary for individuals to possess mathematical skills? If you've only known math as some abstract exam subject to pass, you won't see it as a practical life skill worth mastering. Most of us think of math as just basic numeracy. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, maybe throw in some algebra and stats. But there's more to math than basic numeracy. There is the skill of geometry and spatial awareness, for instance. Being skilled at math means being skilled at understanding how shapes, spaces, and structures work. A super useful skill if you want a career in architecture, civil engineering, and animation. Then there is the skill of logic and abstract thinking. Math teaches us how to use multiple steps and different models to get an answer. We learn how to recognize patterns and connect ideas in pure abstract terms. Math forces us to think clearly and rationally. We make the working of our solutions plain for others to see. So, how far has modern technology made such skills unnecessary for us? Many of us are quite happy to outsource the skills of numeracy and geometry to computers. Why waste brain cells memorizing the times tables when you have a calculator? The counter-argument to that is straightforward. It's true that most animators, architects, civil engineers, and bankers can get away with not using high-level math day to day. But it is also true that those who are great at high-level math also happen to be exceptional in their field. For example, one of the most successful hedge funds in the world of finance is Renaissance Technologies. That fund was started by the mathematician Jim Simmons. It is also staffed by brilliant mathematicians without banking backgrounds, producing about $55 billion in profit over the last 28 years. In the arts, you have the late master architect Zaha Hadid. Her reality-defying designs were all inspired by her love for geometry. And you may also love Pixar films for pushing the boundaries on animation. But what you may not know is that their animation breakthroughs were founded on trigonometry and geometry as much as poetry and art. It was the combination of advanced technology and the mathematical genius of the Pixar research department that allowed animators to create realistic movements of characters, water, and light. So, if you are hoping to get a job, or keep a job, or better yet, create a job in the world, math is a skill that will never go out in demand. But another good argument for us not giving up our math skills is simply the issue of accountability. We can't just depend on other people knowing math better than us. And we can't just complacently accept the computer's output as the truth. We need human beings around who are able to take on the responsibility of counter-checking those numbers, with or without the aid of technology. The stakes involved could be personal. You must know enough about math to fight back when a computer error at the bank insists that your credit card interest is actually higher than it really is. The stakes could also be societal. For over 30 years, many banks got away with using mathematical trickery to sell toxic banking products to people. We needed investigators who understood complex math to see through the fraud and understand what caused the 2008 subprime loan scandal that almost destroyed the global financial system. The third mathematical skill of abstract thinking is probably the most meaningful skill that cannot be taken away by modern technology. Now that we have the technology to crunch big amounts of data like crazy, we need human beings who can sense the trends and detect the story behind the abstract numbers. Some mathematicians are employing their skills towards social causes like analyzing the impact of population growth or the threat of impending food security or predicting the rise of sea levels. Their work enables countries to analyze future threats and feel a greater sense of urgency to prepare for change. Math is a perspective-building activity. It shapes how we see the world. In a world where modern technology is increasingly confusing us on what is real or fake, we could do with a little more of that clear-minded and structured thinking the world of mathematics hopes to introduce us to. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about how the world works, subscribe to our channel or follow the link below to get a free trial class at School of Thought. For a full breakdown of all the GP essays of 2016, click on the other link below to get our annual Broader Perspectives essay issue.